Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe. Before I start this video, I want to say thank you to Cheryl, to Kay, to Jasmine, to Teresa, to Zena, and to Carol for the coffee. I really appreciate it. I also want to say thank you to, to Danny, to Michelle, to Elaine, Natasha, and Robin for buying things off my Amazon baby registry. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much again. So I get a lot of questions in my comments, emails about the supplies I use for embroidery. So I thought I'd just go ahead and make a video and I'll put links in the description to each of these items or at least I'll try to as long as I can find all the links. So these will be the top 10 embroidery supplies I always find myself reaching for in my embroidery room that I use every single day, pretty much for every single shirt I make. Um, they're just items I reach for the top 10 and you guys always ask. So I will just go ahead and get started. So the first thing is the almighty tender touch you may already know i get a lot of questions when i did my lives about what i was putting on the back of the shirts that is this tender touch i will link it in, in the description it says after you're done embroidering this is what you cover the stitching with you heat it on the shirt i do five seconds at 315 degrees and this is what i use it is washable so you are able to wash it with your shirts it is perfect it is soft perfect tender touch need it you can get it at joann's or on amazon i will link this in the description below the next thing these are in no particular order i just have them all laying here i'm gonna grab them as i go are my bobbins these are the magna glide bobbins this is what they look like they are magnetic that is what makes them so special because when it is in the machine it pulls it at a consistent rate that's what the magnet helps with so it's always pulling at the same rate i barely you barely get uh, thread breaks with these that is why they are amazing and they're pre-wound so they save you a lot of time so i get these also off of amazon for my machine this is the l-shaped bobbin they have different shapes depending on which machines you do have please make sure you double check which which uh type works best with your embroidery machine these also help because they can only go in one way so the magnet goes to the metal inside the bobbin case so there's no you know trying to figure out which way is where and making sure you have it going the right way because it only goes one way so it saves you a lot of time there you can also get them on amazon that's where i get them i know allstitch.net also sells them my child's coming Mommy. so the next item is very 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 important it is heat and bond light it is the Ooh. It is the purple one. You can get us in the big bolt. This is a 35 yard bolt. They uh, have these at Joann's. You can also get them, uh, I get these off Amazon. $35 when they're on sale on Amazon, otherwise they're $75, which I would never pay. So get them when they are $35. Um, this is very important because it goes on the back of every piece of fabric you use to applique. That keeps from fraying for, from the wrinkles and it washes a lot better when you have heat and bond light. So you pretty much just put this on the piece of fabric you're gonna put it on heat it on i heat it for five seconds you peel it off and you put it on the shirt and then you cut it blah blah, blah. and at the end you heat the front of the shirt that has the fabric so it adheres it to the shirt as well so this is a necessity when you're doing appliques like i said the whole design will just look so much crisper when you are done if you use this so again i'll put the link in the description for this the next thing most machines already come with it but i somehow managed to lose three of them so it is the needle threader if you have a multi-needle machine threading them is ridiculous and frustrating and if i don't have this i cannot even work i tried using scissors but it doesn't help so you need a needle threader so very very important the next item again for appliques are these Fisker curved scissors as you see the tip of them is curved and they and they are tiny so I tried thousands and thousands not really but I've tried a lot of scissors <laughs> to try to cut my appliques and especially getting into those little tiny cuts and little pieces these work the best they are the only scissors that I have found to work to cut appliques they are Fisker curved tip scissors you can get these at um, Joann's but make sure you use a coupon if you get them at Joann's or you can get them at Walmart. They are about $7.88, $7.88 to $8, depending on where you are for these. They also have them on Amazon. Sometimes Amazon requires you to buy a two-pack 
um, and sometimes it's one pack, but I will link it in, in the description. Like I said, these make such a big difference. Without them, I kept cutting holes in shirts, had so many problems trying to cut appliques, but these work amazing. Like these, to me, they're just made specifically for appliques. So without these, I would not be able to do half the shirts I do, and I'd be cutting holes in half the shirts if I did not have these. And I have probably about 40 pairs of these lying around. I always lose them, but they are small scissors, but they work amazing. The next item is my thread. I get my thread from allstitch.net. This is the Madeira thread. You probably can't even see where it says Madeira, but these are my favorite threads. All my thread is from Madeira now. They do also sell the smaller cones, which would work on the Brother P800 if you have that. These, I have uh, multi-needle machines, as you see behind me. So I use the bigger cones because it saves money. These are about $7.50 to $8. Um, for 5,000 yards, you go to Joann's, you get the little Coats and Clarks for 750 as well, and it's a tiny cone about this big. So you get almost five times as much um, for these cones, four or five times, and um, it's cheaper. Why I like the Madeira thread so much is because it has a little shine to it, and I don't have as many problems with thread breaks, especially using a multi-needle machine, and it's just so smoother, and when you're done, the stitching looks beautiful on uh, when you use these threads so i get these from allstitch.net i will also try try to link these but allstitch.net madeira also sells them on their website madeira mart um like i said i'm gonna try to link link all these items but it may be a little difficult depending on what time the video <laughs> goes up if not you can always look in the comments and i'm sure somebody would have asked and i probably would have found a link for them the next item is one of the most important which is the shirts you embroider on i use the focus arb blanks for my boys and girls shirts. Um, they are great quality. They are super soft, 100% cotton. They're made specifically for embroidery. So they're just thick, plush. You don't really have many issues with uh, stitching. I used to use uh, Carter's onesies, uh, Walmart shirts. The Walmart shirts are a good alternative. It's just hard to find a girl shirt and I prefer to get all my items from the same place. So that is why I go ahead and use ARB blanks. I, let me tell you, I do not have almost any problems with ARB blanks. I used to have problems with uh, thread puckering, pulling the shirt in. With these, I don't have any problems. I'm not sponsored, so wish I was, but I'm not. So I use ARB blanks. They are $5.50 for the girls' shirts. Boys' shirts are $5.25 plus shipping. You do not need a tax ID, which is the best part. Anyone can buy them. You don't, it's just, it's easy. They ship very fast, ship priority mail. So, like I said, I've never had a problem. Love these shirts. As an alternative, if you do not want to spend the $5.50 on the shirt and you're just getting started, you can consider the boys' granimals from Walmart. Girl shirts are very hard to find. Um, only other place that I know that has okay girl shirts is Hobby Lobby. I used them a few years ago. I haven't used them since because like I said, I like getting all my shirts from the same place. So ARB Blanks is where it's at. The next very important item is stabilizer. I use Tearaway, although this one says Cutaway. I accidentally bought Cutaway on accident. I haven't even used it. So I just keep it just in case I need it. It's like an emergency, but cutaway and I use this brand new bro new bro thread tear away stabilizer now with the tear away stabilizer it almost only works with ARB blanks because they are so thick and great quality you don't have issues with thread pulling through now if you're gonna be making a Carter's onesie these will not work great with Carter's onesies if you do use the tear away I would at least double it if you're embroidering on Carter's onesies, it's best to use cutaway stabilizer. Most embroiderers anyways always say if you wear it, don't tear it, meaning do not use cutaway for tearaway stabilizer. But I myself find that I love the new Bro Thread tearaway stabilizer only in combination with the ARB blanks. It does not work well with almost any other uh, type of shirt because other shirts are made thinner. These are made so thick that the tear away works amazing and i also like that you do not see well <clears throat> i like tear away because i don't like the shirts when you can see the stabilizer from the front and it just looks all blocky i don't like that i like my design to look clean fresh amazing so that's why i like the tear away and like i said with arb you don't see it the next item is one i get a lot of questions on which is vinyl i like to use uh heat transfer vinyl for my shirts I didn't know I could even use it until I went to a show and realized that yes, you can use glitter heat transfer vinyl on your shirts. So 
so I have been using it um, ever since. I like the shine, it's a lot shinier, it looks a lot better, um, and it is easy to embroider with. A lot of embroiderers like the vinyl from Micro World, so I will also link that in the description. It's uh, the Micro World Mirror Glitter Vinyl, I believe, if I'm incorrect. Like I said, I'll put the correct link in the description. A lot of people on Etsy use the Micro World Vinyl, so I will just link that. Almost all my designs, I like to use a little glitter in them because I just like the extra effect of glitter. And I think it just makes the shirt pop a little more. My daughter again. That was Riley again. If you don't know, I have a three-year-old toddler named Riley. And I'm currently 37 weeks pregnant with a baby boy. So, yeah. Uh, it's hard to record videos with her. Especially videos like this. So I was trying to distract her. And I put the projector screen on for her to be able to watch something. Hopefully, because if she hears that I'm talking to you guys, she will legitimately bust in here and take the camera. So... Let me hurry up and finish. The last thing and one of the most important things that I would not be able to do my job without is the Mighty Hoop. Oh, the Mighty Hoop. I use the 8x9 Mighty Hoop, I believe. I was saying 8x8 the whole time, but it is an 8x9 Mighty Hoop. This is the most important thing in this whole entire embroidery room that I need um, because the hoops that come with these machines, are 8x8, um, they don't fit on two t-shirts they do not fit on three t-shirts they fit on 4t and up um but i you do a lot of 2t 3t so i use these for 2t 3t 4t 5t 6 8 10 12. um i love these hoops they make it so much easier to hoop and there's no problems it eliminates hoop burn um for the most part sometimes yes it still happens but it is a lot better it is a lot easier this these things literally saved my life they only they do not work on my one needle but they do work on my six needles so my one needles i still can only do 4t 5t blasey blasey but these are necessary um they i will put the link to these in the description i believe they are from i think it's called Hoopmaster. without these i would not even be able to work they are magnetic for those who don't know what mighty hoops are they are magnetic with these, you need to be careful to keep them away from computers, which there's one right in front of me, but I'm far enough away. Keep away from computers, electronics, um, if you have pacemaker, it even tells you on there. Don't even, uh, don't even use these with a pacemaker because they're magnetic and I guess it'll turn off your pacemaker. So please, do not buy these if you have a pacemaker. Um, you also gotta be careful not to pinch your fingers. Now I'm scared because I think I put my finger between them, so now I'm screwed, guys. Okay, I survived. Um, it's very strong magnets, but like I said, it makes hooping so much easier. So I would purchase these. I think they're $250. I could be wrong. $150 to $250, depending on what size you choose. Um, and they just make hooping so much easier. And I'm able to make bigger designs. And I know a lot of people ask me about what size my designs are. And I usually make them like 7x7 seven seven to fit inside the hoop. You can make them like 7x7.5 seven seven sometimes. Um, but I love these. Because you also know exactly your space because on the other hoops. So here is the hoops that come with my machine. As you see, it's so much wider. But this is 8x8 eight eight inside. 7, eight, seven and 7 eighths by 7 and 7 eighths inside. This is the 8x8. Eight eight. And, you know, it kind of tricks you because there's this added space here. So you actually have to fit this much into the shirt versus, versus just this much. So, oh, it's getting stuck it's a lot wider so it stretches out your shirts more that's why i like the mighty hoop it's straight square straight easy it's easy to center designs using this so this is the most recommended product i have i would buy it no i'm not sponsored no they probably would never sponsor me i only have 2,000 subscribers guys so maybe if i get to 100,000, they'll consider it <laughs> um but i love my mighty hoops and a lot of people ask me what hoops hoop size eight by nine eight by nine mighty hoop so those are the most things i reach for in my embroidery room um, if you guys have any more questions, go ahead and leave them, leave them down below. Maybe I'll make a part two if you guys have enough questions or you want like follow-up items I use the most <laughs> after this or maybe for vinyl, not just for embroidery or just in general. I will uh, be more than happy to make a part two. Just uh, go ahead and leave that down in the comments. Go ahead and leave any questions you have in the comments. And please make sure you subscribe and turn on your post notifications, which is the little bell button next to subscribe so that you do know when I upload new videos, new content. I try to upload 
probably twice a week I do do a live try to once a week um, where you guys just see me work and you guys can ask any questions and I can answer them right then and there I will be doing an embroidery machine video because you guys really want to know um, about my machines it's just hard to do a machine video because I have them running all the time and you won't be able to hear me and as you know I'm 37 weeks pregnant so I need to get my orders out now before the baby gets here so that I have time to just chill so after the baby gets here that's probably when I will be doing a embroidery machines video so that is it for today's video thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video which will probably be me uh because I'm about to record it right now is answering all you guys questions you guys left me on my community tab um when I asked you guys to leave me some questions you guys would like me to answer so let me go do that and i will see you guys in my next video bye